good morning this is kasturi de today i am going to start with a new chapter according to icc syllabus class 8 that is the reproduction in humans okay so first is the introduction uh, which says that what is reproduction okay so what is reproduction you know that it's a process by which living organisms produce their own kind okay like plants animals also reproduce asexually and sexually both like uh, animals asexually example are hydra flatworms etc they are primitive uh, i mean animals which are present on this earth and sexually uh, the plant, the animals which are uh, pr- which reproduce they are human beings for example then sexual reproduction we here in this uh, chapter we will discuss the sexual reproduction in uh, human beings human beings can uh, reproduce through as, uh, sexual reproduction so sexual reproduction we will discuss in in the in this chapter so we are straight away uh, coming to this uh, sexual reproduction okay so sexual reproduction are uh, uh, occurs through Uh, two types of gametes that is male gamete and female gamete male gamete in case of ma- uh, human beings these are sperms and female gametes in case of human beings they are ova singular is ovum okay and the fusion of these two gametes that is male gamete and fem- female gamete that is sperm and ovum when they fuse they form a zygote and this process of fusion is known as fertilization fertilization which helps to grow a new organism okay so fertilization are of two types external fertilization and internal fertilization external fertilization uh, occurs outside the female body fertilization which occurs outside the female body that is external fertilization and internal fertilization is fertilization which occurs inside the female body that is internal fertilization in case of human beings they there is internal fertilization and not outside uh, external fertilization so internal fertilization examples are mammals birds and reptiles and external fertilization are frogs and fishes next we come to sexual reproduction in humans now in humans humans reproduce sexually and the reproductive organs in there are different types of reproductive organs in males and in females that is uh, the organs of males is different that of from that of the female in case of reproduction so in the male reproductive cell is known as sperm and female reproductive cell is known as ovum and fertilization here in this human beings the fertilization i told you is internal and zygote develops into a fully grown into individual inside the body of the female okay next we come to the male reproductive system see the male reproductive system is uh, the reproductive organ of the male is one is testis second is scrotum third is vas deferens fourth is urethra fifth is penis and sixth is the associ- accessory glands which are involved in this male reproductive system so uh, the testis Uh, is uh, the the testes are two in number testes okay the plural is testes and singular is testis t i s is singular t e s is plural okay so testes two two testes are there which are located in outside the body okay outside the body the it is located they are located in a sac present in a sac known as scrotum from the picture you can see the lower part is the sac okay the lower part is the sac and the upper part is the penis okay that this is the hip region which shows the male reproductive organ the out the uh, muscular uh, organ which is uh, protruding out of the a uh, male uh, body that is known as the penis and below that penis lies lies the scrotum the sac which contains the uh, testis 
okay both the test both the tests are there present okay and each test is has a number of coiled tubes in which the sperms are produced okay now these uh, sperms which are produced inside this coils uh, these sperms uh, are, are these tubes which are uh, which uh, forms the sperms these are joined together to form their testes uh, in each testis, they come out of, to form the epididymis. Okay, join together to form the epididymis. The uh, coil tubes in which the sperms are formed, they join together to form the epididymis. Now, these epididymis, the testis produce a very large number of sperms at one time. Okay, large number of sperms are produced in at one time. Now, the scrotum, <coughs> excuse me, the sac, this the scrotum is the sac in which the testes are located. Now comes the vas difference. The third organ is the vas difference. Now the uh, vas difference is when the epididermis continues to form the vas difference. The epididermis continues upwards, uh, upwards uh, and reaches the uh, urethra. Finally, it reaches the urethra. So, uh, when it before it reaches the urethra, the epididymis continues as vas difference, okay, or the sperm duct, which opens into the top of the urethra. Uh, through this, through this vas difference, or through this sperm duct, the sperms leave the testis. They come out of the testis and reach the urethra. And the, you, what is urethra? It is a small duct. It's a small pipe you can say or tube through which both the urine and the uh, this um, sperms along with the uh, uh, the secretions of the um, uh, accessory glands they come out through the penis okay now the urethra is a small duct that passes through the penis now the semen from the testis passes through it Semen is what? Semen is the combination of the sperm along with the secretions of the accessory organs. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, from the urethra, it reaches through the urethra, it reaches through the penis. Okay. And uh, uh, after reaching the penis, they come out through it. So, this what is penis? Penis is the reproductive organ, male reproductive organ through which the semen is released. Now, both urine and semen pass through this. I told you this penis is the uh, organ through which the both the semen and the urine comes out to outside the body. Now, accessory glands, what are the accessory glands present in this male reproductive system? They are prostate gland, cowper's gland and seminal vesicles. Three types of accessory glands are present in case of male reproductive system. Okay. These glands secrete different fluids together with the sperm. They form the semen. Okay. Now, first come the prostate gland. Prostate gland. Okay. Prostate gland is a singular. It's one in number that is. And it encircles the urethra. This is the yellow colored portion, that yellow colored gland which is surrounding the urethra. See, this is the testis in the scrotum sac from the picture. Then it comes out as vast difference and it reaches the urethra. This is the urethra. <clears throat> and the urethra is surrounded by a yellow colored gland that is the prostate gland. Okay. So, it is singular in number, that is one in number, it encircles the urethra and it gives the secretion about 15 to 33 percent of the secretions of the semen is present, it's, of its secretion it becomes the part of the semen, okay. Next is the Cowper's gland. Now, Cowper's gland are two in number, okay. See here in this picture, this green color um, uh, pig, uh, gland is the prostate gland and this is the urethra which is coming out through the penis. This is the penis. Okay, these two are the testes. These two are the vas differences. Okay, now this uh, uh, beyond this. Uh, 
okay uh, this is this corpus gland is named after the william william copper cowper who was an english surgeon and anatomist okay these glands secrete fluid that serves as a lub lubricant and op they open into the urethra just before the entering before the uh, uh, this vas deferens entering into the i mean the urethra entering into the penis that, that means before entering into the penis this there remains another gland which is known as cowper's gland okay not uh, mentioned in the picture clearly okay so uh, probably this here probably the cowper's gland will be here before entering into the penis the urethra this the cowper's gland are present here and they uh, give the secretions to the uh, urethra i mean to the semen okay now we come the third uh, type of gland that is seminal vesicles these are uh the two in these are also two in number and they are pouch like structures these two are pouch like structures see be, be, uh, above this prostate gland there are two uh, balloon like pouch like structures these are seminal vesicles they lie at the base of the urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder and base at the base of the bladder there is the this uh, two glands the minor vesicles lie at the base of the urinary bladder they secrete an alkaline fluid which forms about 60% of the semen this uh, forms the this the alkaline fluid which is secreted by this minor vesicle these are about 60% of the semen it constitutes okay now we come to the reproductive cell of the male reproductive system that is the sperm okay it's the male gamete or the reproductive male reproductive cell it has a head see from this picture you can see this is there is a head head portion the middle piece neck then the middle piece and the tail okay now uh, the tail helps the sperm to swim towards the ovum it makes the sperm motile okay this head contains the nucleus okay then uh, there is the neck portion where the head is joined to the middle piece middle piece contains the mitochondria okay next we come to the female reproductive system okay so i uh, stop here i'll continue with the rest of this uh, chapter in the next uh, video I, uh, if you have any doubt regarding this chapter please uh, do write in the comment box you can also give suggestions to improve my video and one thing more i'm sorry that i have uh, given a so much of gap of, of this chapter because this was no internet in this you have heard of this uh, the cyclone which has up occurred in west bengal so uh, due to this i have been i have delayed this video so i'm sorry for that please uh, do consider and then uh, if you like the video press the li uh, like button so that i can produce you some more enthusiastic videos and also if you are a new viewer to my channel and not subscribed yet please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you